Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. My name is Franklin from Corpus Talk. Now, on today's video, I'm just going to continue from where I stopped the last time. You know, we've been dealing on marriage burnout, the reality of marriage burnout. Something I have discovered over time is that there are lots and lots of marriages today that are going through a burnout, and in the process, because the people involved they do not exactly know how to handle these things they end up quitting and saying that you know they want divorce but the truth is that irrespective of the fact that your marriage is going through a burnout it doesn't mean that it cannot be fixed the first thing that needs to be done is that you need to understand why this is happening when this understanding is there it becomes easy for you guys to deal with you know a couple of months ago a young lady wrote me and she said something that got me thinking she said that when she and the husband when they got married everything was okay but you know a few months down the line something began to happen the both of them they began to lose interest for each other and as of the last time i heard from her she said that she was done with the marriage now, as far as I know, that marriage was not even up to one year. Now, that was very, 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 very fast. And I believe the reason why things like this happen is because they couldn't sit down together and work it out. Maybe you're listening to me right now. I want you to understand that marriages go through difficult moments. Marriages go through tough moments. Make no mistakes about this. So if you're listening to me right now and somehow you're going through some issues in your marriage, don't despair because you know in the long run god is going to come true you just need to be able to commit your marriage into the lord's hands now today we are going to be looking at the reason why marriages experiences a burn out you know until and unless you know the reason you will not know how to tackle it and god does not want our marriages to hit the rock god wants our marriages to work and because he wants it to work, you also must want it to work as well. So we're going to be looking at a few things. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, I want to encourage you to, to stay around, subscribe if you are interested in topics like this. On this channel, we'll talk about love, we'll talk about marriage, we'll talk about relationship. The goal is to share with you, you know, divine truth, truth from God's word on how you will be able to to fix your marriage okay so if things like this interest you consider subscribing and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that the next time i post a new video you'll be the first to receive that very video now without wasting so much time don't forget also to give the video a thumbs up like the video and share with your friends and families so let's get right into it the first reason why marriages experiences a burnout is the lack of togetherness you know one of the purposes of marriage is for companionship when companionship is lacking trust me your marriage is already heading for the rocks i'm telling you now we have lots and lots of couples out there who over time they grow apart from each other and I have seen this happen again and again in very many marriages. And one of the reasons things like this happens is because from the very beginning, the decision that was made, for example, you see uh, two people who come together and say, oh, let us get married. Now, after getting married, a few months down the line, you discover that the husband is somewhere else and then the wife is somewhere else. And this continues for a very long time. Whether you like it or not, you've got to understand it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Trust me, distance does not work. Distance is an enemy of marriage. This is the truth. So the lack of togetherness is one thing that causes marriages to burn out. I'm telling you, there are lots and lots of people today, they live together in the same house as husband and wife. But when it comes to togetherness, it's no longer there. They are no longer able to communicate. They are no longer able to share thoughts together. I mean, that friendship is no longer there. And this is something that needs to be worked on. Now, let us take a look at the next reason why marriages go through a burnout. The next one is a lack of appreciation. You know, you see that moment where a husband and a wife, they've been together for a long time. And for the both of them, living together has just become a normal thing. 
So whatever the lady is doing, the young man does not appreciate. Whatever the young man is doing, the lady does not appreciate. And in most cases, what you hear more is blame. Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you attend to this? Why didn't you attend to this? So a lot of times you see that the blame game is now getting more than the appreciation. And if this area can be worked on, I'm telling you, a whole lot can take place. See, never get used to your wife. Never get used to your husband. This is something that you must learn. Treat each other every time just the same way you treated each other from the very beginning you get a point now so acknowledge the things that your spouse is doing acknowledge their strength don't just only talk about their weaknesses again and again don't dwell on their weaknesses learn to also appreciate their strength learn to talk about it not just to them but also in public this goes a long way to encourage your spouse and i'm telling you it has a way of spicing up your relationship with your spouse you get the point now so this is something that needs to be worked on another reason why marriage experiences a burnout is a lack of extracurricular activities what do i mean by extracurricular activities when couples get married for very many couples today they just feel it's all about what happens in the marital home but you see, there are times when it is good for the both party to take their marriage outside or take their relationship outside and go and catch some fun, go play some games somewhere, go for holidays, go for vacation, go for picnics. And guess what? You don't really have to break the bank to be able to do this. It's just something that you can plan. You get the point now. Most of the time when I and my wife when we want to have moments like this, all we do is plan. We start saving up the money, you know, two or three months before. And by the time three months is over, we have more than enough to be able to do whatever it is we want to do. You get the point now. So this is something that, you know, you must introduce. Even when children come, you must introduce extracurricular activities. It spices up the home. You don't have to stay in your marital home 365 days of the year there are times when you guys just go out abandon the house and just go out for the weekend i'm telling you when you come back home you will appreciate your home you will appreciate each other more it's, it's a different experience you've got to understand that dating okay what i mean by that is taking each other out is not for only when you know you guys were boyfriends and girlfriends no you shouldn't be limited to that era you get the point now. The both of you should learn to take each other out. There are times when even dinner, you just go out and take dinner together. Take your children out for dinner. See, you may not understand, but these things, they go a very long way to build togetherness in your home. And this is very, very important. Now, the next reason why marriage experiences a burnout is when there is no respect for each other the lack of respect for each other now this is something that i have seen again and again when two people begin to live together because they have seen everything about each other they tend to lose respect and regards for each other and this is a huge mistake so you've got to understand this it is not possible for you to live with somebody and not know everything about them it's not possible for you to live with somebody and not be exposed to their weaknesses but you've got to understand in spite of their weaknesses, focus on their strength. Most of the time, you see a young lady who tends to disrespect the husband because of his weakness. In some other cases, you see a young man who tends to disrespect the wife because of her weaknesses. And this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. This is something that if you do this in your home, in the long run, it's going to be over. So you must learn to respect each other. If this can be worked on, I'm telling you, you guys will have a glorious home. No matter the weaknesses, no matter the strength, learn to accord the respect that is due to your husband. Learn to accord the respect that is due to your wife. Something I discovered, most men don't think that they should respect their wife. But you've got to understand, your wife is also a human being. Your wife is also a daughter of God. Your wife is also an heir of salvation. Together with you, at least that is what the Bible says. 
You get the point now. So for that reason, you've got to give respect to your wife. Remember, your wife is not just your wife. She's someone's daughter. She's someone's sister. She's someone's auntie. I mean, these people, they have value for her in the same way you should do the same. Have value for your wife. Don't treat her anyhow because she's now your wife. She's not a piece of rock. You've got to understand this. Have respect, have regards. And guess what? Most guys, they think that when they have a lot of respect for their wives, their wives will see it as weakness. No, that's wrong. I don't know where people get such thoughts from, but the truth is when you have respect for your wife, it helps your wife to respect you even more. Young ladies, listen carefully. You've got to understand something about young ladies. They love people who have respect for them. It's only the foolish ones who actually think in that direction. When a man is in love with them and the man has respect for them, they begin to see it as a weakness. That is foolishness, utter foolishness. You get the point now. At least 90% of the ladies would want to reciprocate that respect. They will have regards for you. Why? Because you have regards for them. You get the point now. Respect in marriage is very, very important. Never disrespect each other for no reason. Don't scream at each other outside. Don't talk to each other the way you like outside in presence of people. You must always be conscious of this. It will go a long way to help your marriage. Now, another reason why marriage is experienced uh, a burnout is because of the lack of care and love for your partner. Of course, you know, this is something that is so important. As long as you are not showing that care to your spouse, as long as you are not caring enough, you are not showing her, him or her love, then there will certainly be a burnout. Love is very important when we talk about marriage. Love and care. It's so important. You and your spouse must ensure that this is clearly spelled out. Spend time to speak about your love for your spouse. Yeah, from time to time, tell your spouse you love her, you love him, like that. So this is something that, you know, must be given attention to. And finally, the lack of God's presence. When God's presence is lacking in a marriage, they will be born out. And one of the ways in which the presence of God can be mighty in a home is when God is acknowledged in that home, when the couple prays together, when they worship together, when they study the Bible together. There are many homes today the presence of God is lacking. It's good to pray. You know, most of the time, you know, you see couples who say, oh, I don't have time to pray separately. It's good to pray separately, but there are times when the both of you should come together. Whether you like it or not, that thing, it protects the bond in your relationship. So this is something that I want to encourage every one of you. It will go a very long way to help you. Hallelujah. So that will be all for this very video. I believe very strongly you've learned something tangible from this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share with me. Let me know what you think. I want to know about your comments. Let me know what you think. I believe strongly that there is a lot that you must have learned today. Now I'll see you in the next video. Until then, remain blessed.